knew that I would now. I feel good. I knew that I would. So good. So good. Cause I got you. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's poppin what's pop what's, what's pop we got a lot to talk about this is gonna be a life update because it's long overdue let's talk about it i'm just gonna keep i'm gonna, I'm gonna keep running and running and running until i feel like i've covered pretty much everything that's happened in like basically the last month it's craziness that's that's been taking place in my life personally my life um First, I want to talk about uh, really just how much my channel has grown and um, how much effort I've been putting into this channel and how much y'all have been, how much love y'all have been showing in return. Um, in the last month, we hit a thousand subscribers. That was a big deal. Y'all are super duper duper supportive and um i'm looking at doing a giveaway but i just don't know like what exactly is it because of my my channel so well rounded you see what i'm saying so it's like i do makeup i also do poems i also do so it's like do i do a book giveaway do i do makeup giveaway like i'm trying to find a nice medium of stuff to give away um for my channel because like i know not everybody subscribes to me for makeup and not everybody subscribes to me for my motivational speeches. Some people subscribe to me for my covers. You see what I'm saying? So it's very hard to figure out what exactly I would give away. But thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. And we're still going. You guys are still subscribing, still sharing, still loving my videos. Um, I've come to the realization that people mess with you even if you're not putting out what everybody else is putting out. And I have a video on that on just how do you deal with people, how do you deal with being on a platform where so many people are putting out similar content. And I've come to the realization and I've been super duper comfortable and confident in the fact that I don't have to do what everybody else is doing for people to follow me and for people to mess with me. And I really appreciate y'all for that. Um, for some of y'all that have been following me on Instagram, I was in an interracial relationship that is no longer a thing. Um, I'm following my heart and I realized that it was a lot of stuff that I was settling for and a lot of stuff that I was putting up with when I didn't have to, you know what I'm saying? At 20, in your 20s, it's not a year for you to just be settling. It's not a year for you to be chilling and being content with certain behaviors from people. And sometimes you deal with people, it's okay to be in a relationship with somebody that's still growing, but when that person is growing and also trampling you, when that person is growing and also sucking all the life out of you so that they can be good, and when they're putting too much pressure on you, that's a problem. And that's that's in a nutshell. I'm not even gonna go too far into the actual details, just know that I am good, I am in a way better situation and I don't want to bring it up or talk about it until I feel really comfortable and really um just till I feel like it's time it's just not time for me to be sharing any of my new endeavors which are romantically you know my, my my romantic experiences right now and um what's another thing I walked my first New York fashion week show I walked for Andre Celeste New York um and the way that that all happened was that my friend Tanil um, I'm, I, I have her on Instagram and I'm always sharing her. You'll probably see her somewhere in the comments or you'll see me sharing her picture. She tagged me in a casting call and she was like, just show up. Cause I'm like, I'm on leave. This, like, at this point I'm on vacation. In the military it's called leave. I'm on vacation. So I'm like, it's no way I'm gonna be able to book like a runway show. Like what if I go there and I book it and it's, it's in a time that I'm gonna be gone. You feel what I'm saying? Cause at that point I only had a little less than a week left in New York. And so I took that jump and I'm so grateful that my friend suggested for me to go to that casting cause I ended up getting picked up for it. With my lack of experience in runway, I ended up getting picked up for it. And that's just to say like, take a leap. You know what I mean? Take a leap of faith and see what happens. Cause sometimes we just put a cap on 
our capabilities because we feel like we know the end. We feel like we see the answer already. And that taught me a lot. I took that jump and I ended up booking my first New York Fashion Week show. I saw so many people that I follow on Instagram, so many people that I, I looked up to, you know what I mean? And they were just as genuine and they weren't shady and they didn't, you know what I mean? I didn't have any of those horror stories where you see somebody in person that you really admire and they, they not the same. You know what I'm saying? And I really opened my eyes to the opportunities out there for me and what direction I want to go in as far as my career goes. You know what I'm saying? And I'll bring more information on that you know what I mean, in the future. But honestly, I'm very content. I'm very happy right now. I'm just growing and learning and, and being. You know what I'm saying? And that show, uh, we were featured on Essence. We were featured, um, that was for the Harlem's Row, um, Harlem's Row fashion show? Yeah, it was like Harlem's Row fashion show. And, um... Yeah, it was a big deal. It was a big deal for me, because if anybody knows, like I've always been, you know what I mean, like into modeling and I'm building my portfolio, but I never once thought that in the military, I would be able to, I would be able to follow my dreams like that. You see what I'm saying? And really be able to make such power moves as far as runway. I never thought I would be able to do runway. I never saw that being a possibility. Um, at least not now. I knew that I would, it would happen. I was optimistic that it, that it would be a thing in my future, but I didn't know it would be so soon. And I'm so grateful for God. I'm so grateful for the universe for bringing those opportunities towards me and for good friends and for networking and for meeting dope people. Like, I built my portfolio on vacation. Like, it was just a big eye-opening situation for me. And um, I think those are the three major, like, life updates. Of course, you have, like, the ins and outs of life, but the three major ones that I wanted to update y'all on is that... Um, I'm not dealing with the same person. Like, the interracial relationship is cut. Um, I made 1K on YouTube. I walked my first fashion show and for New York Fashion Week. And life is good. Life is good. That's my update in a nutshell. Um, thank y'all so much for supporting me. Um, we only go up from here. It's only, it's only going up from here. And I thank y'all so much for all y'all love and support. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, booze.